Imagine a year so packed with pivotal moments it could easily fill a decade's worth of history books. That year, 1980 in Jamaica. From political upheavals to natural calamities and the peculiar to the profound, this Caribbean gem experienced it all. Buckle up as we dive into a year that reshaped Jamaica with stories so bizarre and breathtaking, you'll be questioning whether reality truly can be stranger than fiction. The Winds of Change We are starting with a seismic political shift. The October elections weren't just any routine ballot casting. Edward Siaga's Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, didn't just win. They steamrolled to victory over Michael Manley's People's National Party, PNP marking a dramatic turn in Jamaica's governance. Picture the underdog in a boxing match landing a knockout punch in the final round. Yeah, it was that monumental. Economic roller coaster, but with change comes the challenge. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, stepped in with austerity measures that had Jamaicans tightening their belts so much they could hardly breathe. Public worker layoffs, inflation, and blackouts were the order of the day. Imagine going to flick on the light switch and nothing. A daily reminder of the tough times. A heartbreaking tragedy. In the midst of this, tragedy struck. The Eventide home fire wasn't just a headline, it was a heartbreak, claiming the lives of 153 elderly women. This was not just a wake-up call, it was a siren screaming for change and compassion. Weather woes. Speaking of screams, Mother Nature wasn't holding back either. Unusual weather patterns had Jamaicans looking skyward, wondering what they did to deserve both unexpected downpours and scorching droughts. And then came Hurricane Allen, tearing through the eastern parishes like a toddler in a toy store, leaving destruction in its wake. City status and public transport antics. On a lighter note, Montego Bay got its city stripes, stepping up from town to city status. Meanwhile, the public transportation system in the capital, Kingston, and elsewhere was the unsung hero of daily entertainment. Overpacked minibuses? Check. Impromptu sing-alongs? You bet. It was chaos wrapped in camaraderie, seasoned with a dash of comedy. Culinary conquests and dance craze jerk chicken began its world conquest, with Jamaican jerk seasoning becoming the global ambassador of flavor. Then there was the Mango Man, a peculiar tale of survival that had everyone contemplating a mono-mango diet. And let's not forget the Bruck Dance Mania. This wasn't just dancing. This was acrobatics meets rhythm, a physical challenge that left many nursing sore muscles but uplifted spirits. Bonus facts. A trio of Jamaican jewels in 1980. Literary landmark. In 1980, Jamaica didn't just dance and cook. It read and wrote. The literary scene flourished, with poets and authors drawing from the year's tumult to penworks that are still celebrated today. Sports glory. This was a year when Jamaica reminded the world of its athletic prowess, not just on the cricket pitch but in boxing rings and on tracks, setting the stage for future legends. Reggae rhythms rise, reggae music, the heartbeat of Jamaica, pulsed stronger than ever. 1980 saw the emergence of new artists and the solidification of the genre as a global force, spreading messages of love, resistance, and unity. As the sun set on 1980, Jamaica stood transformed. It was a year of extremes, of highs and lows, of laughter and tears. But through it all, the spirit of the Jamaican people, resilient, vibrant, and ever hopeful, shone like a beacon. The events of 1980, as varied as they were, wove together the rich tapestry of Jamaica's history, a testament to the island's enduring strength and character. So, as we reflect on this remarkable year, let's remember the lessons it taught us. That change, though daunting, brings growth. That community can thrive amidst chaos. And most importantly, that the heart of Jamaica, its people, its culture, its unbreakable spirit, can weather any storm. Thank you for journeying back to 1980 with us. Here's to the power of history, to the stories that shape us, and to the unending resilience of the beautiful island of Jamaica. If you have any memories or stories to share about events that took place in Jamaica in 1980, please feel free to share them in the comments section below. Your contribution would be greatly appreciated, and we would love to hear from you.